Millions of people around the world depend on technology, but perhaps no one knows that more than those who use it to see the world. KQ2's Ariane Aram Bureau shows us how a St. Joseph man who can't see or hear has learned to communicate. Scott Dollar was born with a severe hearing impairment. At age 10, he started to experience night blindness, and by age 12, he lost 99% of his vision. Now he uses his hands to learn what his ears don't hear and what his eyes don't see. I use the Internet to see the world, and I always follow what's going on in the world. And I also, you know, through emails and technology and, and meeting people. Being deaf and blind, Scott communicates several different ways. One is with an interpreter using tactile sign language. My hand is on top. The other person's hand is in the bottom, and they sign into the palm of the hand which means we know what is being said. The other is through this deaf-blind communicator. Hello, I'm blind and I can't hear. A cell phone-like device turns a text message into a question. Dollar's computer receives the message and converts it to Braille. He reads it, responds, and can carry on a conversation. I want to do my best to be able to help people who are deaf-blind and help them understand the differences in the different situations and scenarios. Scott is one of the first people in the nation to receive the $8,000 device through the Helen Keller Center in New York. It's helped him become more independent, but more importantly, it's helped him get back his comfort zone. If some people don't understand or it's not clear to them, you know, they may be suffering. And for deaf-blind people, um, we want to make sure that doesn't happen. For most people who are deaf and blind, tactile sign language is their first language. But for Dollar, the communicator has helped him see and hear the world in a different way. Ariane Aaron Bureau, KQ2 News. For more information about independent living for people with disabilities, you can contact Merrill here in St. Joseph or log on to our website, thesaintjoechannel.com.